Oh, goody. All right, what's going on, everybody? Zombies here again, and today we're back with another Marvel Snap video. In this one, we are trying stuff out with Thanos, one of the really cool new cards that was added recently to Marvel Snap. Thanos is a pool five card, six cost, eight power. At the start of the game, shuffle the six Infinity Stones into your deck. We can see all the stones here. Uh, they basically draw through your deck while having other powerful bonus effects. Now, a lot of people have tried to make Thanos work in a variety of ways, but the way that seems to be best so far, in my experience, is a zoo-style deck. And uh, this one seems to be pretty good overall. Now, the thing about Thanos is you really only need the final stone here, the power stone, to receive the benefit. And because it is so difficult to guarantee you're going to get all the stones every game, this deck really benefits from the fact that even though Thanos is a possible win condition, you aren't relying on him as your main win condition. You're mainly just using the stones for value, and if you happen to be able to go off with Thanos, that's awesome, but there are other ways you have of winning the game. So, big, big part of this deck here is Quinjet makes our stones free. And that is really, really important for managing hand size and drawing through our deck. Then we also have the hood to get another cheap thing here. This will be zero with Quinjet. Just a good thing overall and gives us more stuff that we can destroy with the stones to things like Carnage here to clear up our board a little bit. We also have ways to put the stones back into our hand with things like Beast or Falcon, which have both been pretty good. We're going to be clogging up the board quite a bit, so having Mojo, which can get quite a lot of stats for the cost, is pretty nice. Uh, Angela, we're going to be playing a bunch of these stones, and we don't really care if the opponent blows them up with something like Killmonger, and even be in benefit with Angela sometimes. The Collector's really good with the fact that we are uh, bouncing stuff to hand, as that really ramps him up quite a bit, especially we, when we can play the stuff for free. Speaking of for free, Bishop really likes when stuff gets played all over the field, especially when you're not paying much for it, really buffs him up quite a bit. Blue Marvel helps us do kind of a go wide approach to where, you know, if our stones aren't dealt with, this helps pump them up a bit. Devil Dino is surprisingly good in this deck, even though you wouldn't necessarily, you know, look at it on paper and think, oh, this is a Dino deck. Uh, Dino isn't the main focus of it, but it can work surprisingly well in this deck because your hand is usually pretty full. Uh, and you can also just make it more full from bouncing your stuff. So Dino has been uh, pretty, pretty powerful. I think he makes a lot of sense in this deck. And then obviously Thanos deck would not work without Thanos. Um, I do want to address one question. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of. And that's it. If I see Thanos in my shop, is Thanos worth buying with the collector tokens? And I would say so far with my experience playing the card and uh, seeing other people try stuff out with it. I would say that especially if you are a uh, player who is still, you know, working their way through pool three, I would not use all your tokens on Thanos. I think Thanos is a really cool card. He's definitely fun, but I don't think he is going to be a top tier meta contender, at least not with any of the builds I've seen. I think this build is fine. You can definitely win games with it and have a lot of fun doing so, uh, but it definitely, you know, there are a lot of hoops you have to jump through to get to that Thanos win. And even though the deck can win without Thanos, uh, I don't think it is going to be the next uh, top tier deck, at least with the current cards we have access to. Maybe in the future that changes with some new tools and stuff. But I think right now, Thanos is more of a fun card than a completely competitive card, even though you definitely can win games with him. Uh, but we're going to get right on into some games with him in a minute here. Before we do, if you enjoy this type of content, remember to like and subscribe. There's a ton to help out the channel. Keeps the videos coming. Without further ado, let's get into the games. Uh, ooh, we can get a copy. That's pretty good with Time Stone. Yandu. Oh, there goes our Thanos. <laughs> Rip. Uh, 
Honestly, I think I'm just gonna eat the stones. <laughs> Cause we don't have Danos anymore. Did I use my collector's tokens on Thanos? No, actually. I got kind of lucky and opened the Thanos. I got Thanos and I got Shuri as random opens. And then I bought some pool four cards, with my tokens. Oh, I guess my order is bad here. I need I should have played a collector first. I missed out a bunch of triggers. But now you can have a big dino, so. Um we could do Beast Falcon. We won't draw next turn, but I think I'm okay with it. Look at that. Dodge the Killmonger. Made it a little harder for them to get like super free death. I think it is still going to be super free, but it's whatever. Uh, we reveal first. So this is going to give us more mana and cards. And then we're going to change the location. Uh, I don't think we want to over crowd ourselves that much more. The stones are kind of doing work this game though, which is pretty cool even without Thanos. I think that's kind of the route you have to take a bit. So now they don't get copies, which is good for us. Now they wave. And I'm okay with that. They're gonna play death and another card, and yeah, they're out of here. What's up, Charles? Ooh, this is pretty cool. Um, I think we're just gonna do the reality stone. Actually, this would give us an extra one so we can play both these next turn, so that's better. better. Yeah, that would be nice, right? That would be very nice. I would like to see something like that. So we're gonna change this because I don't think we want to get rid of our hand. And then we're going to just bounce our stuff. That's still main. Well, we can play into that with reality stone whenever we want. I think we're going to collector. And just play limestone. Let's ramp next turn. Oh, the Star Lord. Got him. Okay, so we have Dino. Dino's really good here. So I think the idea, the way we're taking this one. We're just going to Devil Dino, and then we're going to use the Reality Stone to play into Deaths at the final turn. Uh, we're even in the middle, so I'll put Dino in the middle. But they're like a whole Guardian-themed deck. It's kind of fun. 
Oh, we have. T oh, I forgot we ramped a turn. I swear, when when the mana changes in this game from like a ramp effect, I always get so screwed up on the the turns. It's a fatal flaw. So we want to hold the reality stone. I think we do want to draw. Why isn't it picking up? There we go. All right. Boom. We're gonna do this. Into carnage. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, the strong guy deck's really sweet. Um, I really like it. Were you playing the the Sarah one or were you playing the the pool two one we did a few days ago? Yeah, this looks pretty good. Oh, and this is cool too because we can actually move Carnage into Death's Domain. Unless the effect goes away. I, I'm not sure how the, Does it still let me move my card? It does. Look at that. The stone is gone, but I can still move my card. That's pretty cool. Um, so how many stones do we see? Because we're going to move this. Probably here. And then we don't even have to play the reality stone. We can just slam like blue marvel. So we play blue marvel. We had three that died in the left. I'm just trying to figure out if there are two stones in our deck or not, because if there are two stones, then playing this is just a net positive. I think there are. I think we saw three, four, and this is no, this is five and six, so there aren't two stones, right? Because we did three, this was four, this was five, so there's one stone. So it doesn't really do anything. We'll just leave it like this. Odin. Alright, so they're having a tiger. Alright. It was close, especially with DC. Victory. We got there. The Sarah one? Nice. Yeah, I feel like nerfs didn't uh, impact that deck too harshly. Oh, all right, so we have a bunch of stones. So let's just draw more stones. All right, Hawkeye again. Oh, they like my mind stone. All right, so we're, we're gonna be bouncing stones here. Let us start with this, this. Oh, we only have two this turn. Yeah, we'll play these two. Get some more card draw going. Oh, look at that. We actually denied their card draw. That's kind of cute. Oh, and this is really quite good. These are all going to be free next turn. But we might as well get the draw in. Yeah. We got Thanos. We got Thanos chat. Thanos acquired. Zedless Ticks. Thanks for the follow. So we're gonna put Thanos in the throne room, I think. So let's do this. I don't really want to play the other cards here right now. Not too much. We're just trying out some Thanos. Yeah, I think, I mean, I guess I could beast to return these two. I suppose it's actually not bad. Although no, then I, 
I can always do that next turn. I guess the uh, the sunspot could be a problem. Yeah, the sunspot is going to be a problem. We have big Thanos for next turn. Hmm. This is awkward. I could just eat this, bounce these. I think that's what I'll do. Bass. It's only their cards in hand, though. Well, I think it's very unlikely. What do they? What do they have? How many cards? They have three cards in hand. So, my guess is they have a bunch of small stuff, so they're going to be able to play for both lanes. I think I'm just going to do this. We're just going to play the big Thanos trade. Probably lose, but... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, don't buff the middle. No, I didn't buff the middle. Wait, no, we, we still tie, and we beat the tiebreaker. Let's go! I can't believe we actually won that. Victory. That's insane. I was like, there's no way they they weren't going to have just a one drop to throw down here. And then the Iron Heart almost screwed us. So they're just running like a zoo with Bast, which is kind of cool. Like, it's a pretty big wasp. Pretty neat. Iron Heart for three power, not bad. But not good enough for 36 power Thanos. Because I have... I bought some pool 4 cards. And then I got lucky with uh, some pool 5 cards. Oh, that's good for the stones. Oh, this is actually pretty sweet. Yeah, look at that. We're gonna have many hulks. Did, did I just tempo a carnage here? <laughs> Is that something I do? We could like make the carnage eat something, but I think I just want to get all the hulks. That's just a free lane. I think I'm going to unironically tempo Carnage. Because it's Mojo World. No, dude. Oh, my God. That's so rude. Who runs Killmonger in their discard deck, dude? What the fuck? It's insane. <laughs> Space Stone will be good here, though, because let's just move our Hulk. I guess let's just play this and this. What happens if you get all the stones? So this is the big this is the big payoff card where so if this is on the field and you've played all the stones. Thanos gets plus 10 power, so he goes from 8 to 18. 18 is one of the highest power in the game. Charles dot win. Thanks for the follow. All right, so we have some choices here. Well, I guess we can set up our Thanos. We can just go Mojo World. Reality. Power Stone. I think we're just gonna Thanos next turn. The question is if we want to. Uh... No, I think we just put it here. I think we just put it here. It's 
a decent amount of power. Ooh, that's not good. That's really bad. <laughs> We're gonna... No, we can't even go Thanos mid. Yeah, I made a mistake here. I probably needed to play Thanos, right? Well, we're still gonna play him. No, not middle. We're still gonna play him. So we did the thing. Game would be very different without that random ass Killmonger. Like, that's a unexpected card to see in a discard deck. Because they usually don't have the space. They're pretty, uh, tight lists. Wait, they- wait, wait, did they screw up, chat? Or is the Collector just gonna bail them out? No, I think Apocalypse might bail them out here. No, it's actually not enough! Holy crap, do we win? We won! Look at that! They made a huge mistake there. I, I guess they didn't... I guess they were... I, I don't know, man. That seems like a big mistake. I mean, we'll take it. But I feel like it's a mistake, because if they played the swarms here, they could have very easily tied us up in Mojo World. And they're already winning one lane, so they could have fought for, like, both lanes, which is definitely something you want to be doing. But we, we take those. We got to do our cool Thanos thing, so I'm not complaining. Quinjet's really good. Mindstone's also really good. Name is Collector. So we're gonna go. Reality Stone. Mind. All right, we're drawing all our stones here, chat. Nothing can possibly go wrong. So we're going to play a time stone and draw. We're going to put our stones back in our hand. I think I just want to get this out of my hand. Probably hood too. Because I don't care if we get Killmongered here. Because we have the Power Stone. But I don't care if they Killmonger us. Even though we're getting a bunch of these cards back. Making the Collector nice and big. And we get our Carnage. Alright, everything's coming up Millhouse here. We have to pay mana for our Power Stones again. Sag. Oh wait, no we don't because we got them back. Well, we have to pay mana for one of them. But we're going to be Thanosing this game. Um, so they already burned their Killmonger, so it should just be safe to play our Power Stone, I'm pretty sure. Oh boy, that's actually kind of scary. Alright, so we got our final stone. Oh man, uh, it's kind of awkward. It's a little awkward here. I think I do this. It might Venom the middle. Well, we're going for a Thanos victory, so we have to try this, I think.
Wave? Okay. Demon. Okay. Oh, they retreated! No! We would have had Thanos there, though. I'm counting that as a Thanos victory. We were about to slam the big man in Sherry's lab.